Hey Jim, it's great to see you. So can you tell me a little bit about how the lab uses high performance computing to advance your mission? Absolutely, and it's good to be here, Jeff. Thank you for having me. So at Los Alamos, we use modeling and simulation for a variety of areas. Uh, primarily stockpiled stewardship, um, but we also do modeling and simulation in epidemiology, planetary defense, climate modeling. Now, what are some of the key bottlenecks that you experience in those workloads? Um, so for us, we've done an analysis on some of our key applications. Our applications, while they do a lot of compute, um, are not as restricted by compute as they are with memory. So when we put together the Crossroads procurement, we were looking for ways to improve time to insight to really reduce those bottlenecks on memory bandwidth and Intel's Xeon Max processor with that kind of high bandwidth memory was really exciting for us because it really does improve that time to insight that we were looking for. Now, the time to insight is really a combination in my mind about the, the run time, uh, time it takes to actually run the execution of that program, as well as the code porting effort to bring that existing code onto a new platform. What level of uh, challenges do you face to bring existing codes onto Xeon Max? That's a good question. So the Intel Xeon Max processor, right, it really can just move sort of from an evolutionary perspective of where we're at today onto this new processor. For our application developers, it's been uh, relatively trivial. Uh, we have examples of where we've literally taken an old binary from one of our existing Xeon machines and put it on a, an Intel Xeon Max processor, and we've just been able to just run it. Uh, and so we're just, just really thrilled with the ability to bring forward, you know, the tens of millions of lines of code with relative ease uh, into this new technology. Well, it's wonderful that it can just work right out of the box, but it really also comes down to what performance are you able to get when you bring that code forward. So what are your, your earlier experiences like? So we've, we've done some uh, preliminary testing with uh, the Xeon Max processor with HBM, and we're extremely encouraged by that. We're averaging around uh, a 4x improvement overall with our particular applications. So we're really pleased to be able to essentially recognize a 4x improvement over our existing performance with basically, you know, buying a new chip. We're just really thrilled with the partnership that we have with Intel. Uh, we've been working with you guys for quite some time overall on the Crossroads project, and we're just really excited to be a part of bringing this product to market. Uh, thank you, Jim. We're very excited as well, and it's a great partnership and hearing from your engineers and scientists on the requirements and letting that really define our roadmap to solve your problems. That's really what brings uh, joy to us. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Jeff.